Hello, and welcome back to my five-year plan playthrough of RP1, Programs and Launch Complexes, where, let me see if I remember what I was doing. I think things ended with uh, trying and failing to do the Tundra Orbit. Uh, yeah, yeah, launch failure. Okay. 85 units of CompSat payload. And... The other thing I need to do is I need to design that geostationary launch vehicle. Okay, which involves two of these stages. I'm sort of here, but sort of not. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Maximum's going to be uh, sort of. <laughs> this says uh, <laughs> sort of here, but uh, we'll be back on filler a bit later. Managed to catch things at a little bit the wrong. Hey, squirrel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just don't want uh, the stream to hear munching noises and. <laughs> You guys have as good of an idea when Nathan is streaming as I do, so I get like a two-minute warning here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is perfectly fine. I could just say no, but no, like, I'd rather be here. Yeah. I enjoy watching it, and I enjoy uh, the occasional chance to uh, test him about a build. Yes. Got a minute while I'm waiting for my potato to cool down anyway. Is this a rebuild? Don't tell me you're having a hot potato. I, I am eating a baked potato. <laughs> yes, but it's a hot potato. It is very hot potato. Um, this is me uh, adding the extra stage back that I needed for uh, geostationary, given that I don't have a relatable upper stage. So I'm just going to use two block E's, tiny block did E your, and regular block E. Didn't your Tundra fail last time, though? Yeah. That was the end. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I'm building a other of those. Uh, do you remember to add instruments to the new one? Uh, you told me you had a, a LEO signs that still needed to be done. Yes, but the problem with unguided tundra is that uh, it's not going to be powered to do that. Right, right, okay, yeah, no solar. Yeah, which I guess I could uh, try to launch at exactly the right time of year and time of day, but um, that seems like a fool's errand. Yeah, fair. And I have nodes queued up for quite a while, so I'm not fussed. Fair enough. So RCS goes here. Plonk, plonk, plonk.
paper in time, I remembered correctly. Good. Whew, just under the height limit. Uh, Squirrel, I have not seen uh, basically anything on YouTube. Uh, I spend most of my time developing and then a little bit of my time playing. Basically it. Well, most of my time doing other things and then of my remaining time, like some time developing. Playing. Um, okay, so... That's extremely interesting. Um, it's almost worth RD one oh seven. Fifty kilonewtons. This is three hundred. Civic impulse is 326, 316. Almost worth just using two of the other, but not quite. Oh, wait, the util. Oh, that's right. I forgot the same mistake I made last time. Okay, that looks more like it. <laughs> and looks less insane. Um, let's count up our delta V. Not enough for orbit. stages have way too much delta v though yes yes it does on the other hand it's really hard to make it any shorter than this that's true Silver Apple, he's the opposite of, of light it up and let it go, and it's, it's hard to play light him up and let it go with RP1. Also, uh, what's the matter with my staging? I don't see anything wrong with my staging. Oh, no, I do, okay, that's wrong. Uh, everything else looks correct. So thank you for that. Yeah, I, unless you're talking about this ordering, because I'm hot staging the end. Like, that's intentional. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, there's a minimum length now. <laughs> Forgot about that.
Okay. Uh could switch it to um uh hollow cylinder that's more like the toroid that actually flew. Uh I mean I like Oh, first of all, that's wrong. Um I just decreased the utilization too much. That's better. Um, this is about 1840. Um, oh yes, and I was also going to add a solar panel and some instruments. the wattage on that 64 watts that's more than enough now for instruments want Wait, this has, oh, this has peroxide in it. What the heck? Well, we definitely don't need any peroxide in here. Yeah, you don't want to pay that new hazardous chemical multiplier on us on a avionics. Yeah. Yeah, nine. experiments on board. What even do we have left? Let's find out. Cosmic ray science, I'm pretty sure we, yes. It's space high, yes. Uh, magnetic scan, we've done only the tiniest little bit. That checks out. Micrometeorite, we. Done space low, but not space high. And the rest of this stuff we've done space high. Okay, so radiation, magnetometer, micrometer, right? Okay, 
assume nominal to the antenna assume 100% usage turn all that on and we definitely have enough even with tons of days elapsed wait okay something's wrong here what's going on here why is it wrong about oh it's not using this this is the planner that's why all right, we're only using 20 watts, so we have a lifetime of... about a year. That's fine. However, I want to make something that looks better than the square. So, charge rate is... 65 watts. Hexagon. That looks better. We'll average to 60 watts. That's a much lighter probe without the peroxide. Oh yeah, whoops. Locked in it. Yeah. All right, that's fine. So we'll go back to locking it. And now we need different avionics. Let's do 10 tons, I guess. Hey, Art of Stuttering. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Art of Stuttering. Welcome. try doing it this way because it needs to be much smaller. Just a little elect electricity, and there. That looks pretty reasonable.
Now this has to last. Till we get How heavy is it anyway? Let's look. Under ninety kilograms. All right, so I guess we won't. I mean, we could. We could tool a nice light one, but with considerably lower power usage, because let's see, I'm going to put this back on and save the, before I do anything else, and that involves fixing the fairings again. Okay, um, what is my power usage? Anyway? Five something hours. All right, we can draw. We can draw from the probe if we need to. So I'm not. I'm not going to mess around with avionics. All right, this all. Seems to work fine. How much delta V do we get? All right, that's probably fine for a park. No, it's not fine because um, it's not fine because we're going to a highly inclined orbit. So let's do five minutes even and see what that looks like. That looks much better. All right, so that can get to a parking orbit pretty easily. And in fact, I'm tempted to try to squeeze a little bit more out of this. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, I'm back for real now. Hello. All right, this all looks not unreasonable. Can I ask? I don't really understand how this rocket's going to end up working for a geostationary satellite. Is one of these? Neither of your upper state engines has relights still here. Yeah. Yes, but I now have three upper stages. Oh. So, so <laughs> this, so this through here gets me into a parking, into a low Earth orbit parking orbit, right? Oh, okay. It's right, an R7 and, and a, a block seen. whatever. What is it? Block M? I forget what that block is. Um, yeah, I guess it's the staging. I'm looking at your delta V stats and only seeing four stages where I guess I should see five. Yes, it's because I um, I have the stuff locked on here because I was done. Right. If we can, so if we unlock it, then now you can see what's going on. Yep. Makes sense.
Okay. Block L. Block I? Tell. Block I. So yeah, so we have the booster, block L, is the basic carrier rocket, and then this is to get us to GTO, and this is to for uh, Apogee Kick. And the important part being that because this is fully controllable, um, we can orient the probe towards the sun before decoupling. So I think I want to sim this before I risk it in practice. is it anyway? All right, that's fine. Uh, and I should point out, I am using the new mech chip, so uh, let's see how it works. Looks reasonable to me. I'm not sure whether... I think that means new is what's currently live. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it on new. Give Lamont some good information. All right. Um, so the last stage to get to orbit is stage three. Early shut off on three. Don't want to severe a pitch, but the starting velocity is probably fine. I think actually we want like 0.65. Here. And I wonder about going to 200 by 200. Let's see what happens. Wouldn't be too bad since it's taking nine minutes for you to get to orbit. Yeah, but that means higher gravity losses too. 608, that feels like it's going to be within our capabilities, but fairly tight. Let's give it a shot. Excuse me. Uh, oh yeah, and hot staging. Um, lead time one second, I think that's probably fine. Interesting. It just added a bunch of these. New stages that. 
which I think I remember him talking about doing something about what happened if it we if we decouple one booster and then the other booster and then the other booster. We don't decouple all of them together. So we'll see how this works in practice. This is seems C maps thing. Hmm? Is that C maps thing? Here's the mod. Uh, CMAP's thing was, I think, some um, performance optimization. Oh no, I was thinking this might be a result of this poor cross thing. Oh no, I don't. E I don't even have that set up, and that would that wouldn't affect any of the rest of it. That's a module that runs on decouple and just adds some force. Gotcha. Oh, we're pitching over way too fast. Yeah. Uh, I seriously underlofted. Very, very definitely. Desired pitch 41.4. Desired pitch 41.8. Current pitch 23.3. <laughs> we are ho ho hosed. Yeah, that was not getting to orbit. Now, notionally, I could just revert to launch, but uh, it's always safer to actually have a scene transition here. Yeah, I'm so used to the the, the super hot off the pad uh, R7s with no or next to no upper stage, and here we are with eight minutes to orbit and low peak thrust weight ratios, and yeah, this is just not correct at all. Let's try that. Oh, it didn't. I have to reset this again. My memory is that the nozzle losses I'd expect used to only be about 400, and man, that's ticking down real fast for nozzle losses. getting a little tight. I don't think you actually added that much mass to the rocket, I guess you did. Yeah, I definitely did. Oh, all right. Well, can't make that orbit. Yeah, see, Lamont, I'm I'm super confused here because it didn't used to be the case that PVG was had on on the order of 700 meters per second or more of difference between estimated and actual. Like it used to be on the order of like 400, 350 to 400. 
and that i trained myself on american engines with more of it with a lower chamber pressure and therefore a higher difference between sea level and vacuum specific impulse too So did something happen with the PVG rewrite where it changed how it estimates? Yeah, okay. And yeah, there there's definitely also the instability, but like this is reasonably stable. Like that instability I assume is just invariance. Um, but the fact that it's about 300 to 400 meters per second um, less conservative than it used to be in estimation. It's weird. All right, so just so we do get to orbit and I can test the rest of this, uh, I'm going to cheese it for a sec. Take it. Wonder if my alpha. All right, yeah, I kind of nailed my uh, pitch program, so that's not the problem. Clipping was annoying, that's for sure. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, you have some extra performance because you went to the wrong inclination. What do you mean? I'm currently going to an inclination. Oh! See? Right, this is. Yes, I looked at that at that's least five right. times. <laughs> I looked at that at least five times, and I was like, yeah, that's the inclination I want. I'm doing Tundra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that'll get me my 100 meters per second for sure.
Ah, Lamont, I didn't even notice. That's a good point. So yeah, I need to... All the stats. Oh, sorry, you wanted... St did you want start mass and then mass? I usually... I have a minimal thing. So I tend not to... That's that's weird instability. That's new after the rewrite. The the delta V rewrite. So the, the 700 meters per second thing, that was from the PVG rewrite, not from the Delta, the Delta V fuel flow sim rewrite stuff you were doing. Because that I've noticed this entire campaign. Um, but this flickering is starting tonight when I put the 1250 whatever, the most recent thing. Today. Before I was on 1248. Looks like maybe even earlier. Why did we decouple? Man, I saw that before, actually. So, Lamont, actually, that's a that seems to be that same stop at stage versus auto stage bug, where MacJeb insists on doing a final stage after finish after finishing its ascent. Hey, NorCal Planner. Hey, NorCal. All right, so that's fine. However, I need to fix this thing. Because it clipped on decoupling. Which means. Whoa! Well, want that. Let's try this and see if that's any better. The other thing is, um, I actually need to provision this a little bit more because we're going to have some pretty severe boil off over the, uh, the f like five and change hours to get to geostationary altitude. I'm very glad to see that 
ascent stats uh, ascent guidance isn't disappearing oop stage that stage number is gone again that's weird Yeah, so that gained us 120 meters per second. Which is probably enough to find. Um, pitch a little faster. All right, let's try this again. programming. No, Mr. Bond, I don't know the answer to that question. We're going to find out. I should have done the actual transfer to GTO. And I should have done the actual kick to GTO and then wrote it out to see. So we overloft it by six degrees. Starting at 1950. Let's just remember that number. Raquel. I mean, we had some great material to work with, uh, and I'm, like, the work you've done over the years on the wiki has always been amazing, and I'm looking forward to when you might have a chance again, but um, we're happy to work on it while you don't, even if you do. There, that looks like it didn't really clip. We had a reasonable startup delay on the engine, but it looked good.
Okay, coming up on insertion. We are. Now. Maneuver of Man, it's been so long I don't really remember. Uh time to the DN is seventeen minutes. that not the first one? No. No, it's not. We don't want... We want this to be like seven hours. Yeah, there's the first one. Thirty-five... Want something like seven. Oh, that's close enough. Fix it on our yes. Okay, that looks fine. So yeah, five hours and f 50 minutes, give or take, or uh, 40 minutes from launch. Yeah, no worries, Norcal. Like, don't, don't feel like you have to have to do any of it. Like, you're you're good. When you have time, to do stuff. Don't. It's not a problem. Uh, taken. I would say it probably ups me from like five tons to six tons. I don't know. I haven't like I. I have no idea what the low Earth orbit payload is. And I haven't used a full size RD on a five stage either. So. Our camp planner, I don't know if you spotted it, but there's a new uh, design form thread for the Discord, for the wiki updates. Instead of editing, you could drop feedback in there if you see some, spot something you want Ooh, to that's a, that's a good call. Easier to mess with that on the phone than actually right. trying to edit yourself.
Okay. Burn. Yeah, entirely possible this gives us a failure too. <laughs> We way overburned. By way overburned, I mean like a meter per second. <laughs> so take that, Mac Jeb. <laughs> um, now, I guess in the worst case scenario, I could cheese this, given that there's some extra liquid oxygen aboard this. I could go all the way out there and then transfer it, even though uh, I think resource transfer obeying cross feed means that it should yeah it doesn't actually transfer okay yeah so i can't actually choose that also why are those decouplers why do they have force do they not default to no force i guess they don't default to no force Got to fix that. All right, let's see how much delta V we have left by the time we get. Up to geostationary altitude. Not enough, that's for sure. Oh, no, I was dumb. I was looking at this, not Principia, so we might not have overburned in the first place. Uh, 
I need to dump a little tiny bit of um, kerosene. Whoa, not that much. Come on. Nope. Very hard to... Alright, the relevant bit is to look at how much locks we actually have. Starting from 514, we have 465. That is a lot of oil off. I mean, yeah, it's totally uninsulated tanks. Yep. Sitting in direct sunlight for almost six hours. Doesn't help that they're mostly empty, too. Mm, the boil off is calculated off the actual tank internal tank volume. So that. Uh, um, oh no, some of the drag. I don't know. I think the drag cube stuff, stuff is involved. So yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, I thought the surface area that yeah. was receiving radiation insulation yeah. was, would matter. Yeah, it doesn't have. Right, it doesn't have. Uh, no, Mr. Bond, no, we definitely don't have any, ML, any MLI unlocked yet. So I think here's how I want to do it. Um, we're at 14, 562. You have about 80 meters per second to play with. Yeah, we're going to up the utilization to 21. Add some crap. On about 50 liters. Start with 60. And I think that that will actually be correct. Now let's also kill the coupling. Horse percent. Horse percent none. Was decoupling the... We well, know explosive decoupling is a thing, obviously, but uh, that's just exploding bolts and stuff. Was explosive decoup decoupling that actually added impulse ever really a thing? No. Not to my knowledge. We should just get rid of that if it's not a realistic thing at all. Yeah, that's a fair point. We could just make all decoupler. But, like, the problem is, so, so generally what, so the, the problem that we have is not that decoupling adds impulse. The, 
problem is that in reality what you'd have is first there'd be explosive bolts and then you'd fire some kind of little separation motors. Yeah. Um, which if the decoupler only provided force over time to the after it had been decoupled stage, that would basically solve the problem. Uh, I suppose. Or you can just do what you always do, which is to add the... Yeah, but that's a pain. That's I wouldn't add say. them if we supported doing that. Okay, fair enough. Hard count bad. Alright, this seems fine. I'm going to go ahead and sim it. Uh, let me just check the delta V's involved. That still looks like plenty. If necessary, we can only go to like 180 instead of 200. Well, somebody could build a decoupler that had the solid rocket motor parts modules built in if they had the right transforms there. Yep. Problem with that though is that if you do it that way, then it'll use the engine occlusion logic and probably fail. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and see what happens if this sits in geostationary orbit for six hours. So, uh, yeah, all right, let's, let's see what happens. Oh, I apparently warped well past it because we're at nine hours. And we still have 1780, so I think we're okay. Philemont, yeah, I haven't noticed anything super weird. Although, as you can see, I've only really launched this one thing. So, um, but yeah, I'll keep that in mind. All right, we're starting to boil off about 20 minutes in, which means a little over six hours is our target point. Yeah, looking pretty good. Wow, that was an interesting level of uh, <laughs> wild guess that turned out to be basically correct.
Okay. So yeah. Okay. Um, all this looks basically correct to me. So let's go ahead and tool it and start it working for us. Um, one other thing of note is what is the starting reliability of this engine? Do I even want to know? 93.5% reliability. At least this ignition, ignition chance is high. For this one, given that we had that failure, it should be a little better now. Nope, its current reliability is only 88%. Jesus. Even with that failure. All right. Cool. Tooling. All right, the avionics kind of expensive, but I understand. And then the tanks are cheap. Okay. Yeah, I think we I think we need to reduce unlock credit. <laughs> because I have ludicrous quantities of unlock credit. Now, admittedly, I'm playing a Soviet campaign, which means I don't unlock new engines much. But, uh, like, I think, we, I think we're overfunding now. Yep. Although you'll burn, burn a lot of that buying capsules. Oh, yes, that is fair. That is fair. Vostok is not cheap. Even still, it's only like 70k, right? 60, 70k? I don't know. Top of my head. Mercury is about 80k. That much. Is Kirk's new multiplier thing um, only applied to the tooled cost, or if you didn't tool the tank, is it going to explode your... Uh... It's going to explode. But that's always been true. What do you mean? I mean, Kirk's, Kirk's thing is just changing the numbers involved. It's not adding a feature. Right. Yeah. Seems like the those multipliers should only apply to the tooled cost. Uh, if you're... Yeah, the but the tooled the... but the tooled cost has no there's no real independent existence of the tooled versus the untooled cost. I see. The reason why that works is because there's a live module tooling you can like basically get the cost of the part and then subtract the module cost of that particular module. But if you're trying to sum up the costs of parts from a vessel that is not currently live, you just know the total cost of the part. You don't know individual module costs. Mm, okay. Uh... No, I was just thinking it's going to be... Out of date version of our library? What the heck? That's extremely weird. Never seen that before. Same. Well, 
like I have the the most up to date version of our library because I built it from source. That's extremely weird. procedural avionics. All right, show outdated our lib warning. What triggers that? That's triggered if RO tank volume property is null. Or, yeah, that's the only case. It has module RO tank. Volume. That's extremely weird. Yeah, it's from mousing over this, and it reported, okay, that's extremely, well, I'll check offline, see if it's actually, anyway, uh, I was going to unlock this, not pass the editor checks, why is it not passing the editor checks, oh, because I added too much propellant, all right. Uh, we want to do the minimal upgrade, the minimal upgrade is modifying site 3 why does it think the construction time is going to be 49 days when the renovate cost is 2410 that seems wrong Something's very strange here. And it's starting efficiency goes down to 90. Yeah, what the heck? Two sixty two to three fifty. Forty five meters height, eleven meters in the other dimensions. And the starting efficiency is decreased. Oh no, because our current efficiency is probably around there. So I'm gonna save the game first before I click that button. See what the heck happens. Because something is really weird. Because I fundamentally do not believe that that's correct. Yes, we enjoy finding out. Okay.
49 days. Son of a gun. 2410. The cost. What? I mean, that is the square root of 2410. Huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Taken. That seems... Uh... Slightly weird to me. But it costs that much, then. I feel like these are formulas you set up, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know it's... Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna look at... Site 3, the launch complex, and it has 168k locks, 1k kerosene. The heck does it have shielding? Oh, no, that's why. Oh, what's up? Uh... Pad ignore. Yeah, alright. So that's part of it small part of it is that uh, because I used a um, Uh, because I used a crude part of modular launch complexes, Kerbalism patches all crude parts to have shielding. It, the launch complex that was created around that uh, supports shielding, which made it, which I think was a no-op because shielding has a cost of zero, but I'm going to ignore the resource anyway. Um, more to the point, we go in here, let's see what the new resource amounts are. Fifty-three. That looks correct. Locks is one ninety-two, one hundred four. K 
kerosene. It's sixteen five oh five. That's the only things that are relevant. If we get the cost, the resource cost. If we have both of them, So the cost is Cost is the base cost plus cost, whatever. Okay. Yeah, all right. 2400 seems not out of whack for adding that much locks. So, yeah, it's just going to slow me down. That's fine. This entire campaign has been being slowed down. So sure, let's try our Tundra launch again. Possibly the time should be more based off of the overall cost of the facility rather than the amount of construction, the, the new cost. Yeah, like particularly the, the fact that um, Yeah, the square root thing really screws you there because the whole launch complex only took like 300 days. Right. I mean, that's another way potentially to address the <coughs> sorry, uh, the amount of time it takes to upgrade something like the R&D building. That's what? Well, if we, not necessarily that we would do this exactly, but if we said, okay, uh, if this building cost 100k base and you're adding another 100k on it, it, rather than taking the square root of the extra 100k, we would take square root of the first 100k, say so that's, you know, uh, 100 days. It's not, it's 333 days. And then take the square root of the, the 200k total, uh, which ends up being like 500 something subtract the two and then you know it's like you're oh i see i see yeah yeah, yeah. 
building on extra rather than starting yep. from scratch. Yep. Oops, what was that? I missed what that was. Probably a tech. Well, I'll load my save again and see what that actually was. Yeah, it was EDL completing. Okay, that's fine. Now have a new contract available. Mm -hmm. Which is the first of the crude orbit contracts. But I'm going to wait until I get the next LTech. We have the money. We'll save two weeks at the cost of 20,000 funds, I guess. Yeah, sounds worth it. Okay, let's try this Tundra thing again. So, oh, MechJeb is back to not keeping the window open. I was so hopeful that Lamont had fixed that bug. All right. Uh, I believe that, okay, that's, those settings are fine. That's all good. That's fine. So let's go.
Okay. If we have better luck than last time. That should definitely work. Okay. Um, let's see here. We need to pull up Principia. Great flight plan. Maneuver somewhere around twenty nine hundred. Somewhere around here. And seventy. Or eighty. That's too much. All right, we'll go with that for now. Whoop. All right, that's good enough. That suggestion for the building time adjustment in as an issue. 
Sorry? I said I, I put the suggestion for the building time chain in as an issue. Just in case. Okay. Oh, that's what happened. Lamont broke that <laughs> in his refactor. No wonder it's not behaving the way I want. Or Lamont. Just getting blamed for yeah. everything this session. Yep, it just warped right the heck through. Oh, that time it worked. What did I do differently? I reloaded, then I warped, and then pressed execute node, and it was fine. Whereas before, when I would warp and then hit execute node, it wouldn't warp up or warp down. Also, before upgrading MechJip, um, I would be able to spin up, and if I was close enough to the thing, when I clicked execute, it would just warp up fine. Uh, now it did not seem to be warping up at all. It would try to despin first. See what we got. Pretty close. All right, that looks good.
I'll reorient and spin up. Just make sure that this is now correct. 7482, that's fine. Okay, so now we need to add a maneuver with active engines. Apogee is 11 hours 43 minutes. And tangent velocity actually fixed. Seventy meters per second, what does that give us? Too much. I think I want around eleven hundred. Like that. But the crucial thing is it's not what Principia tells me, it's what stock tells me, because that's how country configurator checks. Warp to the node. Okay, so the period is 23 hours 56 as desired. Let's do it. Okay, pretty much bang on. Okay, we completed the contract. Tundra Orbit. Good. Okay, so we're below our rep, our rep cap, our subsidy cap. That didn't take very long. Rep to decay and subsidy to increase. We'll find something to boost back up pretty soon. Yep. I mean, that was after just getting 50 rep from contract anyway. Now, 
I guess we do first year stationary and then complete the program. That was only 50. It's supposed to be 80. Go check that. For Tundra? Oh, sorry, for Tundra. I thought you meant uh, for uh, geostationary first. No, year. that's that's going to be more. And also, I get some applicants from it. Yep, okay, never mind. All right, yeah, this is this is worth getting. What's higher cost than hiring requirements? That's weird. What's that about? I've never seen that before. Me neither. that from one of your other leaders? Uh, let's see. cost 1.05x cost string is not equal that's new uh is completely replaced by my version. Yeah. Virtual get text. Yep. So yeah, that's coming from me. That's not stocks thing. Um Cost string is run query strategy setup setup costs. Get cost line. Oh, I know what bug I've created with this, I think. Well, I'll debug it later. If you just create an issue to remind me about this. Or say higher cost 1.05x for leaders. Um, because, yeah, I think it's based on how I changed whether stuff is printed or not. To print even okay. one of those. Oh. Uh, put data or something. Um. This is it's from comics. Yeah, so there's nothing that's directly doing that, but just the whole point is leaders don't have higher costs, so the fact that that's reporting anything is definitely a bug. Yep. 
that will increase my bottom line a little bit. Although weirdly, I did add a request for a higher leader cost uh, modifier, so. Okay. Yeah. But I think that we need to go over the, the admin stuff uh, first, and I'm not quite done with that. Actually, I did want to ask you one question that might be worth asking on stream anyway. I've seen that uh, for a lot of our leaders, uh, people have put in like point events as the justification for why they're uh, why they have a particular trait or not. It seems like typical leaders should more often be like have a have a trait from some continuous part of their history rather than like I don't know turning in Korolev or whatever. Yeah, no, I, I tend to agree. I think it was more just like we were trying to think of interesting flavor things. Yeah, to, fair enough. Just by traits. So yeah, if there's yeah, so like industrious or like particularly much of a glory hound or something like that. Like those are, I think those make a lot more sense. Okay, I agree then. Cool. Oh, if I target in, if I turn in targeted sats, um, then. This is actually not super great because I don't have anything to replace it with. Yeah, I guess I could take com network, which is only one slot. Yeah, it has higher funding, so I guess I'll take it. <laughs> sure, enough. why not? <laughs> So yeah, I'll do geostationary and then turn it in. That works out. Not close to another admin building upgrade, are you? It's coming, but uh, I need to keep that in reserve for uh, doing uncrewed um, lunar surface, and then taking crude lunar once I finish crude orbit. Yeah, there's admin building coming online in uh, a couple months. All right, it is now time to renovate the launch complex. Which also shouldn't be, be able to do because I think there's a reconditioning going on right now. That's weird. I'll just throw a tarp on the rocket and do it outside. Hmm. Or, the, or the launch pad. Alright, there's the 49 days as expected. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I think that's probably a good place to stop. I think yeah, that makes sense. All quits there. So thank you for joining. Thanks for and having me as always. Bet. I typically sign off. And See you again soon. Yeah. Thank you everybody for watching. I will catch you next time.